a beautiful lake in the spring can become a blue-green algae soup in the summer. This is due to high levels of nutrients in the water in the form of nitrogen and phosphorus. In this video, we're going to show you how to build your own artificial floating wetlands as a method to help reduce nitrogen and phosphorus levels using a combination of wetland plants and microbiological nutrient uptake. The biofilm, along with the wetland plants, use nutrients in the water to grow and help to clean the pond water. Here's the list of materials that we will use to build our floating wetlands. The base of the wetland is constructed of three two-inch layers of polyflow biological filter material. This can be purchased in 90-foot rolls. A utility knife with a long blade used to cut the filter material a long, thin-bladed knife, 21-inch zip ties, a drill with a 2-inch hole saw attachment, half-inch PVC pipe and fittings for optional waterfowl fence, a plastic drop cloth, two-part marine flotation foam, Starting with a roll of filter material, cut three 10 foot lengths. Layer two sheets of filter material on top of each other. Using the knife, poke a hole in each corner and insert a zip tie to join the filter sheets together. Using the drill and hole saw, cut two inch holes through both sheets spaced one foot apart. Place a third filter layer without holes on top and zip tie all three layers together, fastening around the edges about one and a half feet apart. This solid layer will eventually become the bottom of the wetland. Place all three layers on top of the plastic drop cloth. Mix the two-part marine foam together. When it starts to expand, pour approximately one to one and a half cups of foam into the area between the plant holes. The foam will flow down through all three layers, expanding within the filter material. Let the foam cure overnight and then flip the wetland over. The plant holes should now be facing up. When ready to plant, move the wetland to the shoreline of your lake or pond for final assembly. Fill planting holes three quarters full with a commercially available planting mixture. Plant two inch wetland plant plugs into the soil filled holes. Fill all the holes with plants using a mix of four to five different species. Use native wetland plants that can tolerate having their roots constantly immersed in water. The floating wetlands can be tied together or deployed individually. Attach the anchor system. Concrete blocks are commonly used. If waterfowl are present on your lake or pond, you may want to install a short fence to protect the new plants from grazing. Now tow your wetland out to the site and deploy the anchors. Make sure you have sufficient anchor line to adjust for water level increase during storms.
your plants will now start to grow and the floating wetlands will begin to soak up nutrients from the water.